All right, bigger boy breaks in with a Horizon Modern Horizons 2 draft booster box. Just be a personal rip. Been seeing a lot of card movement or prices on the cards moving lately. Especially Solitude seems to be uh, seeing a lot of play right now. Seeing that one flying up. It's been the uh, popular set of the of the year. I think. Uh, Uh, probably go down as the one that kind of owns the year. I know the Ventures in the Forgotten Realms wasn't exactly the most purchased, played, sought after. The Innistrad set kind of coming in a uh, a close second here, but I mean Modern Horizons 2 has definitely uh, just owned owned everything this year. Now we're just going to rip through the commons and cart the lion. First rare of the box. Uh, the uh, those are the evoke cards, so the elemental incarnation cards, endurance, fury, solitude. I think are some of the the more set uh, sought after cards. Obviously, uh, fetch lands are always going to be some of the cards people are going to be ripping, looking for. First mythic of the box, Arcana Cruelty. But uh, overall, good value. I know Ragavan still, still number one. Uh, although he could be uh, displaced here in the future, it looks like. Like in the classic borders, I mean that brings me back to my magic roots. We do have an upheaval and a soul talisman. First foil going to be sweep the skies. I'll check these uncommons for rares real quick. All right. Uh, Modern Horizons 2, like I said, set of the year, box of the year. I know, still in print. Not sure how much longer it's going to be in print. Seal of Cleansing and Sanctum Weaver. I can see that once it goes out of print, it could potentially, you know, pop up a little bit of value. I Anything with the fetch lands um, seems to hold its value good long term. We have a Riptide Laboratory and a Persist in the Showcase version. The Showcase is in this set, kind of lackluster, the quote unquote sketch cards. I mean, in the past we've seen, like, you know, in Throne, we have the, the nice border. Um, here, the sketch cards. I'm just not a big fan. Necrogoyth. The uh, the new set, the Midnight Hunt. I'm, I really like those uh, those kind of showcase frames. I think they kind of missed the ball or dropped the ball here on the uh, Modern Horizons 2. Got a counter spell and a Verdant Catacomb. So first. Uh, fetch land of the box, and we have a foil retro frame. So I got a couple other boxes here today. I'm gonna rip at least an, one more after this. I think I'm gonna we're gonna finally crack into some uh, flesh and blood. I've been talking about it for a little while, kind of reading about it, but some got some tales of the Arya uh, first edition that we'll be going into. Out of time and slag or slagwoods bridge foil. Um, but we got Ikoria in this week. We got a little bit of Pokemon in. Only one box left right now. Seems to be the uh, the hot seller. The Pokemon. I think it seems like people are just ripping it and ripping it and ripping it. Can't find it in stock almost anywhere. Uh, Vindicate and Usiri. All right, about a third of the way through the first box here. And you have a Maya Cradle of Growth. Definitely uh, one of the more solid uh, rares out of the, uh, out of the uh, set. Still seeing a fair amount of play. I mean, 
get that coupled up with any other of the the recent green ramp like Circle of Dreams Druid. You know, you got a, you got a pretty decent uh, path for uh, green to get some big creatures out. Got our second fetch of the box, still in the first third, Arid Mesa. Seems that Arid Mesa is probably the most common one for me to pull. I think I pulled like, you know, almost two to one on versus other fetch lands um, with Arid Mesa. I think Marsh Flats is the one I still have yet to pull a full playset of. Got a full playset of all the other ones except Marsh Flats. Got General Ferris Rokic and Flame Rift in the foil. Alright, that's the first third of the box so far. Pretty good start. Two fetches. First third. If we can keep that up, six fetch box. We'd we'll love to see it. Uh, I know we're averaging about... Uh, it seems to be like three to four fetches per box. Squirrel Mob and Rise and Shine. The fetch prices have definitely come down. Uh, I mean, I think it was pretty pretty much everyone knew that was going to happen as more and more Modern Horizons uh, was cracked and we saw the influx of supply on the market, but uh, they're still holding a decent decent value. Uh, I think everyone's you know trying to get to that that full play set. We have Sylvan Anthem in the rare. The Modern Two, or Modern Horizons Two, uh, kind of hype has slowed down a little bit too now that it's been in print for a while. People have been open it. Okay, we've got Evan Earl's disc for our first rare, and the Cryptozoologist for our second rare. So, if there's anything you guys want to see opened up, still looking for. Uh, you know, any any uh, any suggestions, anything that anyone wants to see. I've uh, been looking to try to get uh, my hands on some older product. Uh, you know, maybe Visions, Mirage era, back in there. Kind of go back to the, the good old days, back in my playing days. But that sealed product is pretty hard to find. I mean, you see it come up every once in a while. Okay, Mythic number two, Murktide Regent. Another decent one that saw a bit of a pop not too long ago. I know that the, uh, the Murktide and the uh, Solitude are the two that I've seen kind of probably most, uh, or the two that have most kind of uh, come up in value over the past couple months. Like I said, Ragavan's kind of dropped. The fetches have kind of dropped. The box prices on these are holding pretty strong, though. So, you know, when it goes out of print, we will we'll see what happens. The collector boxes are fairly uh, fairly hard to uh, come by right now. Got a profane tutor and a foil rare persist. First foil rare of the box. No fetches in this third. Uh, hopefully, we'll turn that around here in the next few packs. Wonder what Wizards are going to come up with next uh, next year for their Masters product. I know that there's Double Masters 2, I believe is one of them. Uh, last year, or was it two years ago now, Double Masters was pretty huge. I uh, really like that product. Cracked quite a few of the VIP packs. Um, a lot of fun. Pretty decent decent cards to put, they put in the set. I know there's a, kind of getting to the point where what are they going to put in their next uh, they're kind of starting to maybe run out of new Masters products cards. I mean, they have an almost unlimited outside the reserve list uh, you know, pool to choose from, but I haven't seen anything too, too good yet. Uh, damn, for the rare. Easiest card to remember. So also we're going to be doing a, a, little, a few sports breaks in the in the future. Uh, not sure anyone here uh, 
does uh, does sports, but if you guys want to see some sports, looking mainly uh, mainly soccer, uh, Cabal Coffers for our third Mythic of the Box. Uh, we'd like to get some soccer breaks kind of going in. Um, I know there's a ton of people out there breaking, you know, the football, the basketball, the baseball. Um, I'm more of a, a soccer fan myself. I enjoy opening uh, a lot of the the English leagues. Not so much the uh, MLS. Sorry, MLS. Uh, Sword of Hearth and Home for Mythic number four. So going into the last third of the box here. Sitting at four Mythics. Uh, two fetches, no no fetches in that middle middle part, but we did get three mythics. Let's see if we can turn turn our luck around. Get one big pull here before we close out the box. Card with way too many letters in its name. Don't even know. Not even gonna try to pronounce that thing. But yeah, anyone in anyone watching these uh Fans of uh, any of the sports products, let me know. Um, I'll see what I can get my hands on to open up for you guys. I know the sports card prices are ridiculous. They keep going up and up and up. Uh, luckily, Magic has kind of stayed fairly flat com in comparison. I mean, you're looking at sports cards kind of going up uh, 100%, 10x for some of the boxes. Uh, where Magic has stayed, you know, maybe a couple dollars. We've got a Verdant Command and a Karmic Guide. Also, anyone looking for packs, sealed product, uh, personal rips, let me know. Just started getting the, the Instagram channel going, uh, working on the Facebook now. And as we uh, get more and more, I'll start putting up a, uh, a listing of what we have for uh, our offerings. Mostly, most of the stuff right now is going to be the imprint stuff. Uh, I do have access to get quite a bit of the imprint. So if there's something that you're you're wanting, even if it's just a personal box shipped to you, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Get you a price, try to beat whoever's prices I can. Alright, almost, almost halfway through this last little section here. Still looking for one more mythic. Maybe one more fetch. There we go. Tatiana for Mythic and a Void Mirror for Rare. Five Mythic box. If I remember correct, that's about average for the uh, the boxes. About five Mythics. Obviously, you know we want to see Ragavan come through. Uh, then probably the most sought after Mythic out of all of them. Still haven't seen any of the uh, Endurance Fury. Uh, elemental mythics as of yet. Resurgent Belief and uh, Lash Claw Foil. Alright, five packs to go. Prismatic Ending. I think I've seen one of those. And Dragon's Rage 2, the top commons or uncommons in the uh, in the box, there we go. Solitude I was just talking about this one. This is the uh, the card that spiked recently. White, th two white, three colorless. Flash, life link, three two. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target creature. That creature's controller gains life equal to that to its power. Evoke, exile a white card from your hand. Definitely nice to see one of the bigger cards come out here in the close. Uh, I'm not sure if that thing's. That spike's gonna stay. I'm just gonna kind of trickle back down. Like I said, I know there's a quite a bit of the product out there right now. Um, we'll just have to see what the uh, supply and, and demand dictates. Diamond Lion. All right, three packs left. Let's see one more fetch land. Any of them. Would love to see a Marsh Flats working to get that playset complete. We have Wonder and Dress Down. Second to last pack. And Guy's Will, Gia's Will, 
and landscaper foil common. Okay, so it slides around, last pack of the box. Let's bring it home with one more mythic or fetch land. We have a goblin bombardment and a magus of the bridge. Still, overall, pretty decent box. Got the solitude, got a couple fetches, got the merc tide and the sword. So, I'm gonna call that a win. All right, guys, thanks for checking it out, and we'll be back with more.